guys, Paul with CP Addict here at Carlisle All Truck Nationals in uh, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Here with Tim Luby and his 96 F350. Um, we've known each other eight, nine, ten yeah, years. Yeah, something like that. We, we kind of got all into it, you know, off of, off of these body style trucks. You were kind enough to bring your truck out here today and, and kind of talk with us on it. So, I guess for, for lack of better words, kind of kind of tell us about why you're why why you have an OBS and why this truck and whatnot. Uh, my obsession with the OBS started in '93. I bought my first one. It was an F-150 regular half short fan. Is it the green one you can post pictures of? Yeah. Okay. That that was my first one. I fell in love with body style of that. And when our son came along, we needed something bigger. I got a new body style half fan. Didn't like it. Traded in on this one in 2000. I've had it ever since. I've had it 19 years. I, I've seen you post a couple of pictures of this one. If I'm not mistaken, it was white when you got it. Yes. And uh, uh, you said that was around 2000 or so when you got the truck. Yep. It was. It was pretty much a bone stock truck when you got it with semi-low miles on it, if I remember correct. Yeah, right? 78,000 miles so, on it. Right so, aside from the fact that you owned a 93 before. What was the biggest thing that stuck out about this particular truck that you had to have this particular truck? I wanted the power straight piece. We had a big camper, a half ton wooden pull it. So I wanted something that would pull my camper with ease and I wouldn't have to fight it. <laughs> well, I, I think that's kind of the, the same thing with a lot of people is, is you know, that they never made a ton of power, but they no. had good low end torque on them. Yeah. They were reliable. They were like the diesel at the time to get because the Cummins didn't have a four-door cab. Chevrolet, if you could find a 6.5, had even less power than this one. Yeah. So this was the most comfortable in, in all of that at the time. It kind of, I guess for lack of a better term, fit your needs for what you were doing with the truck. And yeah. It's kind of like the same for most of us. It became a lifestyle after that. Yeah, like, it did. Yeah. It did. And, and pretty much anybody with these trucks has modded them to some point to to create their own vibe. Like when this truck goes down the road, this is not just an F-350 going down the road. This is Tim's truck. Yeah. And this is Tim going down the road. Like if anybody else is driving it, it doesn't, it doesn't look right, it doesn't act right. Mm -hmm. like that. And you've, you've modded it quite heavy over the years, changing a whole bunch of stuff, I think. Like it's, like we said earlier, it was originally white, you painted yeah. it silver a couple of years back, and you, you've done a lot of other stuff to it. Um, why, why have you hung on to it all these years? I fell in love with the truck, the body style, and as I fixed it up the way I like it, I can't get rid of it. You know, I can't, a new truck can't replace this because it's not, it just doesn't have that flavor. I'm with you, I bought a new truck and I drive my OBS more than I drive my new truck. Yeah. It's just, I wished I could have the creature comforts of my new truck in this truck because yeah. the body style on this. I do think, this is a personal opinion of mine. I think Ford designed the new trucks kind of based off of these. Yeah. I have a theory that the body lines are real similar in the new trucks versus these older trucks, but there's just something about these trucks that I think speaks to us all and, and draws us in and, and basically makes us like a family. It, it does. Us, you know? It truly does. I mean, I could call you up pretty much any time and you would drop whatever to come help. In fact, 2017 when we had all the flooding in Houston you got with all the local businesses and areas and what size was that trailer? It was an 18 foot trailer. So you hooked onto an 18 foot trailer basically ordering just about any kind of supplies yeah. and drove from Ohio all the way to Texas pulling it down with this truck and it was pretty much a turn and burn trip like you, you left it was like Thursday evening or something you left and two o'clock Friday morning we did 23 I, I knew it was some sort of flying trip down and, and it basically turned and burned and go right back. Exactly. So, you know, the lifestyle of having this and the, and the friends that are behind it and stuff is, is what makes it fun with these trucks. I did. The, the, the people that, that I've met because of these trucks, that's amazing. I love it. Uh, you, you were telling me earlier that basically your best friend now, Gary, you met, what form was it? Uh, uh, Diesel garage. Diesel garage. Hey, back in the day. Back in the day, and y'all, y'all both have OBSs and campers and go camping quite often. So yeah. it's definitely, 
it's always fun to get with somebody else that has the same mentality on their truck as I have on mine. It is. It's everybody. It, it's, it's hard to explain because everybody gets along so well. You have such so much in common and with everything. Yeah, well, and, and everybody's diverse, you know. Uh, I like lifted trucks. You like lower trucks. Somebody else may like single cabs. Somebody else may like super cabs. And it just kind of goes back and forth. And everybody comes together for a common ground, which is, which is always fun. So maybe we can get you to come out and do another video with us on some of the mods. But we appreciate your time today talking with us about, the, about your truck and why you're an OPS. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. Hey, guys. As always, if you like our channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any videos you'd like to see us do, Leave a comment in the comment section or email us at info at cpaddict.com.